Hi everyone, welcome to Jitandas Baraji. The topic transportation in plants. Transportation in plants. In your earlier classes, you know that that is vascular tissue, which consisting of a, that is called as vascular bundle. What is that? They are two. They are xylem as well as a phloem. Xylem and what? Phloem. You know that xylem is useful for transport of water and what? Minerals. Whereas the phloem are useful in the transporting of what? Food materials. So this is about the water and minerals and this is about the food materials. And uh, see, before going to know how this xylem and phloem are useful in transporting of uh, water and food materials, first uh, we have we know a small activity nana. That uh, with the help of that activity, we are able to observe what nana root hairs. Okay, we observe what here within this activity root hairs. You take uh, that is the bajra seeds. Bajra seeds. Okay, they how to get germinates? How to get the germination? You know very well. Okay, soak in the water and uh, then overnight it will get the spouted that germinates. And uh, from this uh, root, uh, okay, from the roots, uh, from the root tip, you cut a small portion, and that portion you keep it upon the slide. You add some water, and then you gently squash. Gently, what happen, Nana? Squash. Okay, squash it, and then you can observe under the microscope. Sir, not microscope. You are able to observe with a magnifying lenses with alpha water magnifying lenses then you are able to see for example these are the roots okay on the roots like the short hair like structures are present on this okay with the help of the magnifying glasses you are able to see clearly the short hair like structures are called what root hairs you are observe what are root hairs so these roots is plays in a prominent role in observing of water rain minerals from the soil how they will be observe the water and minerals from the soil that we are going to see now see nana these root hairs whatever the root hairs which are present here that root hairs will be you know that in the root hairs they have the uh, they are attaching to whoma soil particles they are penetrating into whoma soil particles and uh, in the soil particles when you water the soil particles when you water this uh, soil particle that is when you pour the water or it is rainfall occurs at that time what happens the salts present in the soil will get dissolves the soil present in the soil will get what enough dissolves and there what happen here the salt content okay the salts uh, concentration becomes what uh, lower the salts concentration become what uh, lower whereas in the root hair cells okay in the what ana in the root hair cells uh, in the root hair cells the salts concentrations okay the salt concentration will what na higher will become what a uh, higher so the salts concentration is higher in the root hair cells whereas uh, the salts concentration is lower in what na soil particles and you know that this root hair okay the membrane surrounding this root hair is acting as what uh, that is plasma membrane what is that one it acting as what plasma membrane you know that wherever the one side lower concentration and another side will be the higher concentration and between them an a plasma membrane is present means what process will occurs then automatically that leads to what osmosis a process called what na osmosis so they would happen for example you take that this is a root hairs nana and this is a soil particles okay these are the soil particles like this okay and here this is you have been watered you have been watered this are soil particles so they would happen the soil particles you have been watered and thereby these salts has been gets uh, concentrated and now these uh, root hair is attached to water that is epidermal cells as well as cortex as well as xylem this is what uh, epidermis this is what ana uh, epidermis what is this this is a cortex cortex what is this these are the xylem so what first what will happen these root hair cells outside membrane is acting as a plasma membrane pm is what a uh, plasma membrane so the water molecules are enter into these uh, cells and uh, the vacuoles of the cells actually they enter into the vacuoles of that uh, cells 
and there would happen the neighboring cell is you know this neighboring cell this neighboring cells uh, now higher concentration and here in this cell the lower concentration will be taking place automatically that osmosis will occur from here to here here to here and enters into epidermis epidermis to the cortex and cortex to go into what xylem after entering into the xylem the xylem will be transport that uh, materials to each and every part of the body okay now this is a uh, one of the factor which is responsible for transporting of water and minerals with help of what ana osmosis with help of what osmosis and next uh, you take uh, to some extent root pressure is also useful what am by this root pressure means the pressure by which the root okay the pressure which is existed in the roots by which the roots are able to send the water to upward is called what root pressure is called what root pressure and for this root pressure small activity has been demonstrated here okay you take in a potted plant you take in a what na a potted plant you have to take in a potted plant and uh, in this potted plant you have to cut uh, an a stem you have to cut the stem 1 cm above from the what na soil 1 cm above from what soil and uh, for that you can uh, take in a an a rubber tube okay and attach what na rubber tube you attach the water rubber tube and uh, in that you pour the water transparent rubber tube or a glass tube and the pour pour the water this is a uh, mark as m1 now you water this potted plant and wait for 2 or 3 minutes you wait for water 2 or 3 minutes after 2 or 3 minutes you see that the water levels has been increased up to what ana m2 that is the after 2 or 3 hours the water levels has been increased from m1 to m2 how why because these water these root which are present in the plants are absorbing the water from the soil and sending up that means the roots are also having certain pressure to with help of the pressure they are sending the water to high, some height that is called what na root pressure that is an activity to show about what root pressure and next you know the transpiration and next topic is what na transpiration you know that the loss of water the loss of what na the water loss from the leaves in the form of what water vapor if in the form of what water vapor through what stomata is called what nothing but transpiration is called what transpiration this transpiration process can be done with help of what na the transpiration process can be done with help of that is stomata which are present on the leaves stomata present on what na leaf and these transpiration for the small in a childhood activity that is fourth class fifth class activity you take a potted plant and keep a transparent cover to a two or three leaves covering and cover it and keep it in the sunlight what will happen the water vapor will be formed on the transparent cover okay that is nothing but from the leaves the water is getting lost in the form of water vapor that process called what transpiration sir what is the link between the transpiration and transportation means see na na for example Uh, the, the, from the leaves, this upper layers of water. For example, you think that this upper layers of water is gets evaporated, is going up. Automatically, what happens? The down layers are there, you no? Know, this down layers of water molecules will go up. Okay. So when this uh, the second step, second column of water levels goes up, uh, automatically you know that the down layers, this uh, remaining column will go still up like this. So in this way, what happens? As the upper layers of water is evaporating, then the lower levels of water is coming uh, up. So that is the way the transpiration is useful. In this way, the transpiration is a uh, useful. Okay, na na. And uh, so this is called as transpirational stream, na na. Okay, transpirational stream. transpirational stream with help of transpiration stream that is one more one layer of one column of water molecule is uh, evaporating means the down layers of water column is pushing up that is continuously the water okay one layer of water is attracting another levels of water with help of that that is a continuous column of water will be formed that is called what transpirational stream which is also useful in a uh, uh, transporting of water na uh, materials and uh, water and you if you take one mage plant can excrete sorry can transpires 15 liters of water per a day same manner in a one acre of okay one acre okay you take one acre of mage can excrete nearly 3 lakhs 25000 liters of water in a growing season that is nearly in 100 days generally mage can be grown in what 100 days 
you take in a big mango plant one big mango plant can excrete nearly that is 7000 uh, sorry 750 to 3500 3500 liters of water they can excrete for one day in a growing season that means when it is a fully grown at that season time it can transpass nearly 750 to 350 liters of water per a day so like this various uh, plants can transpire the water uh, per a day like this and per also season rotation of food in the plants how the food is transported by the tissue called as phloem you know that this food actually stored it away in the leaves they have been formed at what leaves and from the leaves they have to go to what all the parts of the plant so how they can go with the help of the what phloem tissues okay with the help of what phloem tissues and how that will be a small activity that demonstrate how the phloem tissue will be gets uh, uh, transported you take uh, a stem okay and uh, to the stem what will happen here this is one stem and here one aphid which have a sharp beak okay what is that aphid biologist uh, how they studied see how they studied with the help of this activity they said phloem tissue is useful in transporting of food mills that aphids means nothing but green flies what is anna green flies and these aphids uh, have a sharp uh, okay needle like structure a sharp needle like organ is there that needle like organ is called as what proboscis what is that na proboscis it is one of the part of the mouth na mouth of this aphids okay this is aphid is like this and uh, to, to this aphids it is a proboscis na actually this is what a proboscis this proboscis is a suck that is a penetrating into the stem actually this outside layer is called what that is xylem whereas the second layer is what that is a phloem okay and here from the phloem it is sucking the juice why it is sucking the juice what have what the scientist that is a biologist did means they cut down this uh, mouth that is proboscis part they cut down this uh, proboscis part when they cut down from this proboscis part like this a uh, that is a liquid will be gets uh, get collected that liquid they collected upon a slide okay that liquid collected upon the slide and they examine that what is that uh, they examine in that what is their liquids they consisting of sugars as well as uh, amino acids sugars and water amino acids that means these phloem tissue is useful in supplying of what food materials why because mainly glucose is proteins will comes out of what are food materials so that food materials are been passing through the phloem at that time this aphid is able to sucking that and at that time you are cutting that uh, proboscis and you examining means we are getting the sugar and uh, amino acids in this way they confirmed that phloem tissue is useful in a uh, conducting of food materials not only this there are another activities there what is that activity means you take uh, a stem okay and then uh, you remove the bark of a stem you remove what on a bark of a stem here yeah, this is a bark okay bark has to be removed what my bark means the outer covering of a stem is called what bark okay then when you the remove that automatically you see the more growth you can see what on a the more growth will be occurs okay the more growth has been taken place at the upper portion the upper portion will be what a solen the upper portion is what solen why it is solen means the phloem tissue which is present here is accumulating the food materials here, here itself whereas the lower portion which have the roots will be not getting this food materials why because disconnected when you are removing the bark that is these tissues which are present in the upper part and lower parts has been disconnected due to the disconnecting of phloem tissue the phloem is unable to supply the food materials to the downer portion so there would happen the downer portion which consisting of roots and etc that is not uh, uh, getting the food and they become weak and there what happen the stem become weak and thereby the plants will gets a uh, falls the plant totally gets a uh, fallen okay totally the plants gets what na fallen so this is the way how we can say that phloem tissue is useful in the uh, transporting of food mills this is a reason here nana the forest 
in the forest in the economical that is very very important okay economical plants like red sandal woods okay as well as the sandal woods okay etc some medicinal plants useful plants costly plants economical plants for them they arrange the the nets okay they arrange what are the nets that is which consists which is made up by the wire nets okay and uh, to protect uh, from what are uh, why they use that to protect themselves from the predators predators means the army will eat them especially rabbits wolves okay etc badgers and etc to control the predators also in the forest the forest officers will encourage the uh, the pre another predators which are eating this okay uh, that is a uh, badgers and another type of foxes and etc they will be encouraged to grow more why because the rabbits like uh, population is more to control the population they grow this why because these organisms will eat that uh, organisms and in this way they will protect why because in the in in the winter that is there will be severe food scarcity they have what na severe food scarcity will be occurs to overcome the food scarcity these uh, predators organisms will eat the bark they remove the bark from the stem and they eat the bark as a food materials when the bark is removed you know the problem what is there so in this way the forest officers has been pro either keeping the uh, wire nets not all the plants for economically important plants or else they encourage to grow the another type of predators which eat away them so this is the way how the phloem tissue is useful in the transportation of food materials sir so watching please like share and subscribe